Hello everybody and welcome back to the Excessive Gaming Channel and Farm Simulator 2017. This is our Let's Play series here on Lawfolds and today we are up to episode number 29. So if you could quickly drop us a like it would be much appreciated. And of course if you are new to our channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. So let's jump into today, episode 29. What are we doing? Well yeah, looking at this weather not too much at the moment it is late autumn now and today we are on day three of our harvesting process but yeah this uh, what looks like a bit of a fog down we had a bit of rain throughout the night but uh, yeah we're waiting for the crops to dry up of course Excuse the sneezing there again, but yeah, it's uh, not the best of weathers today. But yeah, this like I say, this is day three of our harvesting process. Have a little quick look at the map, of course. Head on to the growth, and you can see that we've still got four fields that need that need harvesting, of course. So yeah. Let's uh, see if we can make a start. Jump into the fen uh, sorry, the uh, JCB fast track 3200. I'm gonna head up to the field where the harvester is. So we've still got all this corn field to do. Blimey, you can only just see the harvester up ahead. This is uh, going to be an interesting day. Hmm, very interesting with that sky. So yeah, what are we going to do? Just the. Uh Whilst we're waiting for the crops to dry out, I'm just thinking how we could do a uh, screenshot for today. That's the thing with uh, waiting for the crops to dry out, you just don't quite know what to do. So, uh, pardon that little uh, interruption there. Having another sneezing fit, but uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to do a screenshot just yet. I'm going to park this one up out of the way, shut that off for a minute. Uh, we'll have a little look at the map, what we've got left to do. So, we've got four fields that need harvesting. Have a look at the animals. As you can see, they definitely need feeding. I think that might be a good idea, actually. Going grab some feed for them. In fact, we've got everything in storage now, if I recall. So let's uh, run down, grab the other trailer, and we'll put some feed in for the pigs, of course. Not the uh, ideal start to the day. But uh, that's the joys of farming. You never know whether you're gonna what you're gonna get done when the weather is out there. So yeah, we'll get uh, get another tractor, probably the Fent 310, I think it is, which is just in here. This is the 310, indeed it is. Get that started up. What we're going to do is pick up our farm tech trailer, which is just in here, I believe. There it is, right at the back. So we'll grab that. Mm. 
I'll just drive around to the silos, <coughs> which is just here. Uh, have a little look at the animal menu once again. So they want some corn. Let's uh, start with that one. It's always the uh, best to start with at the top there. Seven thousand meters. <coughs> but anything we don't uh, put in is not the end of the world because we can uh, always just put it back into storage. So we'll offload that in there. Actually, it's took all of it, blimey. So, yeah, it's not quite filled it up, but it has took all of it. We'll bring down the same in the wheat. thousand litres of wheat in storage. It's amazing how quickly those numbers build up from a couple of harvests. So we're doing nearly six thousand litres of wheat. as well and then of course we want some potatoes or sugar beets and we've got plenty of those in storage so what we're going to have to do for that one so we'll just shut that off there yeah we're going to jump into the manatee We've got the bucket on and we're here. We might as well pick up this mess that they've made. Drop that straight back in. Okay. Yeah, we'll head on round to the uh, sugar beet storage. Should be to be here. bucket full there. The poplars are growing nicely. Wow, that's only took about a thousand litres. <coughs> would have thought it would have wanted more than that, but no, it's uh, only took a thousand litres. So we can drop them back in. If we can drive, of course. So that's the uh, pigs cleaned up and fed, not uh, what we planned on doing today, but uh, that's that job done. We might as well put some water in whilst we're here, I believe we've got some in here. There we 
go, that's that sorted for three days as well. And of course the other thing that they wanted was some straw. Only need the one bow, I think. the top here. There we go. So we can shut all that off, jump on out, have a little look at the pigs menu, and that should be them sorted for a little while. So I think what we're going to do is we are going to come back in just a minute and uh, as soon as the crops have all dried out we'll make a start on today's harvesting so we will be right back in just a tick okay so welcome back as you can see the uh, wet crop symbol has disappeared so we can now get started all the crops are dried out and ready to be harvested now so we're going to no, let's press the right buttons. Unfold the harvester. Turn the harvester on. And off we go. So yeah, the idea today, like I say, episode 29, is of course to uh, get this field harvested. Still pretty foggy, but we have got the crops dried out. I know that the uh, worker's going to miss bits and pieces at the end. Uh, have to see how we get on. Okay, yeah, we've missed quite a bit at the end. Let's carry that on so that I know that uh, we've at least gone right through. And of course, we can take a bit off this end. In fact, all of this section here is going to have to be done manually, I think. So we might as well do that ourselves now. Because it's like the odd shape at the ends, it doesn't recognise uh, where the field edges. Well, it certainly does recognise, but uh, it, uh, workers do struggle with uh, dealing with them. Up missing more than what it's actually harvesting, so it's easier to just go over and harvest it yourself. So yeah, like we say, day 29, this is uh, the day 3 of harvesting, or our day 3 of harvesting. We are of course in late autumn, it's 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and we've got what, four fields that need harvesting before the end of the day. So plenty to get done. didn't really help with the uh, start that we've had it's 
long as we get done that's the main thing See those poplars are growing nicely in front of us there. Got ourselves stuck. So that's that section done there. Take some more off this end, and then hopefully that will give the worker a bit more room to turn around so they won't miss so much. Uh, 95% full so we need to unload at some point there we go we are full so we're going to put the uh, auger out there and of course we need to just quickly grab the uh, JCB once again which typically is up at the top of the field so it looks like we're having a, a, a day of uh, running around just about see the uh, tractor up, up there on the hill We'll get this unloaded. And 
And of course we can get the uh, harvester back on the worker of course, back on track. Get this out of the way. the worker to uh, do his thing and then of course we can be shunting backwards and forwards and unloading So, hopefully the worker can uh, get this done without missing too much. It's uh, quarter past one in the afternoon. We're going to go and uh, tip this lot. Too far to travel, of course, from that field. <coughs> so, yeah, today, of course, like I say, episode 29 is, of course, Thursday, and we are uh, still a little bit behind with our schedule so unfortunately there will be no Euro Truck Simulator today but we will uh, hopefully have it back for next week, we've got some uh, new videos planned, some new games like I say are planned so we all want to get those fitted in somewhere but uh, yeah we want to get the schedule back up and up and running. If of course uh, you would like to see different games then uh, drop your comments down below of what games you'd like to see. As we've got various games in the pipeline already. And hopefully the worker should turn around and he's going to drive through look say he looks like a she from here but yeah I think uh to maybe put this onto a time lapse I'm not sure today plenty to get done of course I think the best bet is what we'll actually do is jump cut uh, once we nearly finish this field I think would be best And uh, various breaks in the video already. So as the worker turns around, he'll head back up the opposite way once again. Yeah, I think uh, the best bet, I can say, would be to jump cut today. And then I think we're going to end up doing a big time lapse in tomorrow's episode which means it's actually going to go on to day 4 of the harvesting it's not something we wanted to do you can only do so much harvesting all at one time but 
but uh, unfortunately we need to get these jobs done. And like I say, we've still got four fields to get done and finished. So yeah, what we're going to do is jump cut. Uh, now, we will be back in just a second for you guys, but when we come back we will have the majority of this field done. So yeah, we'll see you in just a tick. Okay, so welcome back. As you can see, we've made some uh, very good progress with the farm. And with this field, the harvesting of this field, we have got bits and pieces left at this end, which was to be expected. And we've still got uh, a little bit left to do to the left of us anyway. So what we're going to do is quickly take over from the uh, worker. And then uh, just clear all this bit up down here. So it make such a mess. clear this bit up and then of course we can just finish off the field we've done quite a few loads of corn into storage so that's now building up as well which is much needed but, uh, there we go so we'll quickly head back up you can see there's not too much left to do enough but still not too much so if we uh, quickly just take this off this end here it should mean the worker will be able to turn around without uh, missing any from now on over even though the workers don't damage the crops whilst the machine's been used the uh, we uh, definitely can because we want to damage the crops because we want to harvest as much as we can and there we go head on back still got another 3,000 litres in there again so as you can see the sun has now come out it's now brightening up it's uh, 10 to 2 in the afternoon and we've nearly finished this field get unloaded once again guessing we would need to go back to the uh, silos one more time to unload this trailer in order for the harvester to finish the field we'll have to wait and see I 
so we've not got too much more to do. It does take a bit of time to get these jobs done. We are, of course, on the uh, road to a thousand subscribers. We are building up subscribers very nicely. Uh, we'd just like to thank everybody that has already subscribed to our channel. But uh, yeah, we uh, still looking for more subscribers. Like I say, if you are new to our channel, then uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Of course, if you do enjoy all of our videos, remember to drop us a like on each video. It does show your support. There's, uh, in the description there's many ways to uh, uh, support the channel there's things there's like us on our Facebook page to uh, buying cheap games and obviously do it via our link and then of course there's things like uh, where you can donate as well, all the links, <coughs> excuse me, are in the description for all of those kind of things, ways of supporting the channel. If of course uh, you want to head on down and just have a quick read, it would be much appreciated. We have of course also got the vote available for the next map, that is available on episode 26 I believe it is, so head on back to episode 26 if you've not already cast your vote for the next map, it is available, all you need to do if you're watching on a PC, a laptop, hover your mouse over the, uh, over the video and then uh, the little white eye should appear in the top right hand corner, you just click on that and then you can cast your vote. If of course uh, you're watching on a, a tablet or a phone, mobile device, then uh, all you need to do is just tap your screen and the little white eye should pop up once again and again you can just cast your vote there. So, making some good progress with our farm. Got uh, all the fields, all oh, those two fields there are harvested. The one in the distance is harvested. We've got another cornfield to harvest there, which we will be doing tomorrow within the time lapse. And then we've got two smaller sunflower fields to harvest just down under the hill can't quite see them from here and then of course we've got the poplar to harvest in the winter time as well so lots to get done like I say we was aiming between 30 and 35 episodes it's definitely going to be at least 30 I should think we will be doing 35 now as uh, like I say we are still waiting for poplars to grow once again we've not got those trees grown which is a bit disappointing so hoping to have those grown before the end of the series but, uh, we've not really actually sold many of the pigs either so hoping to breed them a lot quicker than what we have done but like I say we can always extend the series afterwards I think uh, we suggested about that one on the uh, Estancia Lapatio one so who's going to go back and harvest more uh, sugarcane
but uh, yeah, at the moment we're definitely going to be doing, I think, up to episode 35. And we'll have to see where we go from there. Plenty to get done. Just having a look how much we've got left. Two, four, about uh, five or six more rows, I should think. Yeah, about five or six more rows. And we should be done, of course. Can't believe how quickly the uh, time is going by today. So much to do and so little time to do it. Just quoting uh, a bit of uh, Willy Wonka there. Although I think he says it the opposite way round, if I recall. funny the uh, things that you end up thinking of when you uh, say something else <coughs> excuse me so we've still got about 12,000 litres in here um, yeah I think we're going to have to empty out one more time just to make sure we can get it all in What we'll do is we'll unload the harvester one more time this way and then when we get back to the field we should be finished. That's just took us over 15,000 litres, 71%, 72. That's, that's finished, 72%. So we'll take this back into storage. this time. Nope, still can't do it. <laughs> Goodbye me. We're all over the place. There we go. <clears throat> so we'll unload that. And then it'll be back off to the field. Yeah, back off to the field for uh, <clears throat> Excuse me, one last time. Yeah, we we'll got there two more rows, I think. Two more rows. It could be uh, one and a half, but
So, last little road to do. And then that will be us done. So yeah, we've had a few uh, jump cuts in today's video. Through various reasons. So last little, uh, last little bit. We are done. So the worker will sit there. We can come and pack that up later on. But uh, yeah, for today, that is it, I think. Just put this back into storage, and then, of course, we can end the episode there. So, whiz this back to the silos. So we turn all that off, that is that one done. We can of course go and collect the harvester and bring that back in. But uh, yeah, if you have enjoyed today's video, remember to drop us a like. And if of course you are new to our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. If of course you could share this video with family and friends or anybody else that you think may enjoy, it would be much appreciated. But like we say, we are gonna get the harvester in and that is it for today. Thank you very much for watching, and we shall see you in the next one. Bye for now.